Live at 9, first introduced our next guest to viewers before the Memphis native embarked on a Broadway tour at the age of nine. And earlier this year, Lily Brooks O'Brien joined the cast of a very popular daytime show right here on News Channel 3. And guess what? She is now back and she's got a brand new album and new music. And this morning, Lily Brooks O'Brien joins us in the studio this morning. So good to see you finally in person after yeah. it's been a long time. We've been talking to you yeah. via Zoom, but now you're back home in Memphis. What's it been like to be back here? Oh my gosh, it's been so incredible seeing all my friends and my family. And I'm just excited to be here for the Delta Fair and get to talk with you guys. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, now what are you going to be doing at the Delta Fair? Because I know a lot of your fans, Lily, are going to want to be out there to see you. 100%. So today from 1 to 2, I'm performing a full set of my original music and a few covers on the main stage from 1 to 2. It'll be a lot of fun. What yeah. is also so cool about you, one of many things, is not just the performance at the Delta Fair, but recently you performed at the Troubadour. I now did. this is this is a pretty big deal. How did that kind of come about for you? And what's, what was the experience like? Uh, I was so grateful for the opportunity to perform there. I mean, it's such an iconic venue and I had seen one of my favorite artists perform there a few, like a year and a half before. Mm -hmm. And I would have never guessed that I got, that I would be able to perform there more than a year later. It just was such a dream come true. And I was so excited. I mean, I was like <laughs> freaking out beforehand. Were you really? I was, I was like, I was a nervous, I was a nervous wreck for sure. Wow. Well, when it comes to your music, though, you do a lot of your own songwriting. Yes. How do you kind of venture into this as well? We know what you're doing on the stage, but we also know what you're doing on a very popular soap opera here yes. on CBS and News Channel 3. But the music thing, how long have you had that passion? I've always been a singer. I've loved to sing, and um, I've always been a performer ever since I was really little, ever since I could talk, really. Mm -hmm. um, but I had never been brave enough to write my own music and kind of put that out there. But in the last year, I, um, I went through my first heartbreak and that just really inspired what? a lot of music <laughs> and a lot of original music and a lot of just um, I was putting all of my emotions and all my feelings onto in, into songs mm -hmm. and I, I was brave enough and I worked up enough courage to release them and I've honestly had so much fun um, just kind of seeing how people react to my songs and how, how people like them. How revealing is it to kind of really kind of open up yourself to the public to say, this is what I've been kind of going through, this is who I am, and yeah. I want you to hear it. I think that's the hardest thing about writing music is like knowing that everyone is going to know your business and it, <laughs> th those like deep emotional feelings that you're going through and you're writing down are going to just be out for the world and mm -hmm. it's it's scary yet exciting at the same time. Let's talk about the music genre uh, that you also kind of emphasize with your music. Yeah. Where did you kind of really want to go with this new album, this new project? See, when I write music, I kind of just let the, the let the lyrics kind of guide the vibe and the, and the genre and kind of whatever I'm writing, I just let it kind of take me there. So I've written songs that have a country vibe and have more of a pop vibe or a singer songwriter. I have a little bit of, of, of a touch of R&B and soul in there. And um, it kind of just depends on what I'm, what I'm feeling in the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, let's talk about your Memphis connection, your ties to the city. What's it like for you to kind of come back and how has Memphis influenced you over the years? Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm so grateful to be from here, especially with my work recently um, with St. Jude. I'm a youth ambassador for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, okay. and this month is um, is Chi Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and uh, we're gearing up for Team Young Hollywood, which is the team for the St. Jude Walk that I started um, for the walk up in the, this upcoming month. I'm very excited, and you guys can definitely catch more of that right later later this month. Um, but I'm so grateful to be from here, and all of my roots in Tennessee are, have made me who I am today, and I couldn't be more grateful. I do have to ask you about the young and the restless oh and whatever gosh, you can tell us about yes. that. You play a great character. You came on the show and you've kind of taken things by a storm. <laughs> Where are things kind of headed there? We're looking at some video from the Y&R that a lot of folks watch right here every day yes. at 11 o'clock on News Channel 3. What's <laughs> that experience been like for you to be on the Y&R? It's been so incredible. I mean, joining a show that has been going for more than 50 years now, it's such an iconic show and I was just so honored to be able to, to step into my role as Lucy Ramalotti and just get to be a, a part of such an iconic show and everyone was so nice and so welcoming and um, playing Lucy has been such a whirlwind and I cannot wait to see where her story goes and um, I can't wait for you guys to see it too. <laughs> you do seem very excited about it. I am. I have to ask you, do you, do you think you're more of Team Lily or Team Heather, who just came back on the show to really kind of get back together with Daniel, your dad on the show. You know, I have a feeling that Lucy has some, some sneaky intentions. Really? 
Um, I mean, who doesn't want their parents to get back together? It's kind of just like a, it's a thing. And I, I love Heather. Heather's the best. It's hard, but um, you guys should definitely stay tuned to see what Lucy is up to very, very soon. You know how to tease us quite well, Lucy. You really do. What about uh, Broadway? Any any plans to go back there uh, to do more stage? That's always a dream for me is to go back, especially when I'm a little older and when there's some more um, opportunities and roles for me. I Broadway and, and musical theater, um, as it's always been a passion of mine. So it would be so incredible to go back very soon and get to go back to my Broadway roots. We are looking forward to that as well. And we're also looking forward to new music. The, the new album is called Officially. Too Good to Be True. That's my new EP. It just came out. So if you guys haven't listened, make sure to go check that out. And there's also lots more music coming very, very soon. So stay tuned. All right. We have something very special for you. Again, Lily's new album is out right now. And when we come back, she will perform a song just for us. Don't miss Lily Brooks O'Brien right here on Live at 9. Next.